Good morning. Let the record reflect that we're in court on case number D-16-537-499-1. Norcutt versus Council. And uh, Ms. Norcutt is present on the phone. Can you hear me, Ms. Norcutt? No, I can't. I'm sorry. Have you been able to hear sorry. anything I said? <laughs> I can barely hear you. Okay, I'll try to speak up. Uh, you're here as the plaintiff representing yourself? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mr. Council is not in the courtroom? Uh, Jason A, part of a 9441. I'm sorry. Mr. Council, Your Honor. Um, he, uh, in lieu of the fact that this is a essentially a procedural motion, and I'll explain why in a moment, um, I, my, my, my client can only take off work so many times before getting fired, so I, I just said the client don't worry about it. Okay. Mr. Counsel is not in the courtroom. He's represented by his attorney, Mr. Uh, Nimey. At this time, okay. Okay, the uh, motion that was filed on the 13th of June, 2019, that's plaintiff's motion. Do you want to be heard on that at this time? Um. Yes. Yeah. You may proceed. Well, <coughs> so there's no one there. Are you there? Pardon? So who is in the courtroom? I can I can barely hear you. Mr. Counsel's attorney is present, and okay. he, and then of course the court staff is present. I'm sitting in okay. for Judge Moss, who's unavailable today, and I've been assigned by the Supreme Court to sit in her place. Okay. And, and are you a judge as well? I'm a senior judge, which means that I retired and then was commissioned by the Supreme Court to sit as assigned within the state of Nevada. Okay. All right. Well, um... I'm really not sure how to move forward other than in my motion. Um, I would just like to um, be represented by the court as far as the child support that was in the original um, order after the modification of Pepsi. Do you have all of the exhibits that I submitted yesterday? Yesterday, and I haven't gone through them, no. Do you want, should I go through them? If you wish to make an oral presentation, you'll have to do so, yes. It's my okay. understanding you're asking that the tax debt for 2013, 2014, and 2015 be split. Correct. And I believe based upon the pleadings filed by Mr. Counsel, that he has no objection to that request. Right. Mr. Naimi, is that correct? I believe that's correct, Your Honor. Um, All right. If I can summarize where we're at, Your Honor, and I know, I know you're, you're not uh, typical on this case. Um, the reason I said this was procedural in nature is we have a trial pending for August 1st, as I'm sure you're, you're aware based on what is in the pleadings. Um, these issues are up for uh, consideration by the court at trial. Uh, the, the, net, the motion itself, in my opinion, is unnecessary. Uh, that said, our counter motion is necessary because we served upon the plaintiff uh, certain discovery requests that have not um, been responded to. Um, we have set an EDCR 2.34 conference. Uh, we still have received no response. Uh, nor did she show up for uh, pr production of documents and so on and so forth. As such, um, I have no discovery from the plaintiff for me to prepare for trial. Um, I don't know whether or not I need to take her deposition 
in lieu of what the documents that she presents might might tell. Uh, therefore, um, I believe our request for, and, and Your Honor, I apologize if I'm sitting, I'm, I'm doing so for the record so that she can hear me. I'm, oh, thank you. Um, I believe our request to continue trial is appropriate at this time uh, in order to allow us the opportunity to prepare. As Your Honor is well, enough, well aware, this is not a minor issue. Uh, the history of this case, and I'm only going to repeat myself here uh, just so Your Honor is briefed. Um, my client uh, was unrepresented at the time set for trial back in August of last year. Uh, he was convinced to stipulate to permit the child at issue uh, to relocate uh, to Seattle with mom. However, Judge Moss had concerns with the relocation and she said specifically that she would keep an eye on this and um, if um, the plaintiff was not adhering to the visitation schedule, she would uh, consider returning the child to Las Vegas. Uh, our initial motion um, was uh, filed in lieu of the fact that Ms. Norcutt left sooner than permitted, um, did not allow the father, my client, the opportunity to say goodbye to his son, um, then subsequently did not provide him his um, ordered visitation on several holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, so on and so forth. The first time he finally got to see his child was spring break of this year because the court had ordered it. And even uh, the evidence will show at trial, even that was an ordeal that I've never come across in all my years of experience. And as your honor knows, I'm a board certified family law specialist. I'm a fellow of the American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers. I'm a fellow of the International Academy of Family Lawyers. Mm -hmm. I deal with the most complex custody things worldwide. And I've never seen it so difficult to get a child from Seattle to Las Vegas for one week visit uh, in all my years of practicing. That said, there was a status check after the fact wherein Judge Moss had ordered uh, the child be interviewed. Uh, and if um, trial was not, because she had concerns as well, I believe, is my opinion, that um, we might have to move the trial in lieu of where we stood. Uh, and if that were the case, the child was to remain in Las Vegas and start attending school in August until such time trial was to be had. So the specific orders I'm requesting at this time is that trial be continued to a time that would enable us the opportunity to finish discovery uh, for the child to be enrolled uh, in Clark County School, uh, obviously zoned wherever my client resides, uh, until such time the court can hear the issue and make a determination as to the future custody order of the child at issue. Uh, I have nothing further here. Your Honor. Yes, Ms. Norcutt, please proceed. Um, I actually have counsel coming in. They're parking now. Please speak up. <clears throat> I, I'm sorry. Please speak right up. <clears throat> I actually have counsel coming in right now. They're parking in the parking lot to represent me. Who is that? Fred Page. Mr. Page? Yes, Mr. Page. Okay, we'll go ahead and... Uh, trail this matter let mr page be here if he's representing okay. you he should be there any moment he just texted me okay we'll call you back we'll discontinue the call at this time <clears throat> 